Welcome back to the channel, and thank you for joining me as I continue my work on the 1989 Toyota pickup restoration. As you can see behind me, there is a lot of the truck frame that wasn't here at the end of the video. And to be honest, I just needed to get some stuff done. And the best way to do that was to put the camera down and just focus on building the truck. So behind me, you see the frame rails, the gas tank bracket, and the cross brace all tacked in place. And these are all ready to get fully welded in. Before I can do that, I need to finish tacking things in place. I have the bed mount and the suspension mount that I need to finish. So we are gonna start today's video off working on the bed mount. And the brackets go in the locations of these bolts that are on the top hoop. I'm going to be using eighth inch steel that is six inches wide to form these. The front two are gonna be the same, and then this one's gonna be completely different because it only needs to drop down like two inches. So we are going to jump over to making a template for the back ones. I wanna start with the small ones just so I don't waste metal and it'll get me comfortable using my metal brake. And then we will switch to the front ones once the back ones are in place. So let's get started with cutting some metal. I've actually just changed my mind. Instead of making templates and cutting out brackets with the plasma cutter for the rear bed mount, I'm just gonna use some two inch by three inch box tubing. It'll be two inches on the top one inches on the bottom and it'll taper. And then you have to imagine this is the rail. It'll just weld down right here and then the hole will be on top and then the bed will sit on top of that. Here's a tip if you're making duplicates off of the same piece of metal. Use both sides of the seal. That way you can set up the saw once and get the same cut for both of them. And since I'm cutting a small section off, it'll be easier to work with. It has been a while, so I thought it would probably be a good time to give you all an update about what's going on. I have finished completely welding the front bed brackets and the rear bed brackets as well. I've also finished with all the double up plates on it. Most of them are tacked in and I just need to finish welding them. The next thing I need to do is weld the bottom plates that are gonna have the oval cut out on this particular one and then the one to give more support where the metal bends back straight. On the front double up plates where the bracket welds to them on the side, I actually drilled holes and did some plug welds right where the arms of the bracket attach so that if this ever bends back and forth, it's not pulling the plate away from the main frame. They'll be moving together. I'm really happy with the way everything is turning out. The metal brake worked great. 
I probably push it right to its limit with this thickness and this length of bend that I'm doing. But luckily that's the most difficult bend that I have to do. Everything else is gonna be relatively easy. I might have to put a little bends in the drops for the front suspension, but I'll get to that. Hopefully it's just the right distance, but I doubt that. To keep this channel from becoming a dude welding a bunch of metal together, I'm going to end the video here. You've pretty much seen the entire process of what I've done to build the frame. I need to finish welding up the rest of the double up plates. And I think that's about it. And then I can start on the suspension components. So I'll be working on that in the next video of the truck, but that might take a little bit longer because I need to do a couple things in the shop so that I can actually turn down the parts I need. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, go ahead and drop them in the section below. I really do appreciate you all coming along. And I guess that's it until the next one. See y'all later. Bye everybody.